Hi everyone, welcome to another Sketchware tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to make a stopwatch in Sketchware. And before we start, I got some things to tell you guys. That I saw some people disliking my videos. I mean Sketchware tutorial. So I just like to know why they dislike. So what I got to tell you is instead of just disliking, please comment the reason so that I can improve this. So let's start with a new project. I'm gonna call it something like com dot distro dot timer timer the same here. Okay. And now I'm gonna add a text view and a horizontal layout to align the buttons and three buttons inside the layout and I'm gonna click the text view and edit its properties I'm gonna change its text to something like zero 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 for the initial value and I'm gonna slightly increase the text size to something like 30 or 40 sp and the layout gravity to center horizontal okay well, it, it looks cool and I'm gonna change the button text to start stop And reset okay now let's move on to the logic section so in here I'm gonna add a component a timer component and I'm gonna call it timer itself okay and then let's move to the button once click event so first thing I'm gonna do is add some variables the first thing, first variable will be time elapsed. Oops. And it's gonna be an integer, and I'm gonna click add, and another variable for storing the hours. And the next one is for saving the minutes, and the last one is for seconds. Okay. And I'm also gonna make a block. This is gonna be the important part in this tutorial. I'm gonna call this set time more text. Okay, and this is gonna take an integer value called seconds. Okay, let's add that and click save. Okay, now I'm gonna go back. And you can see that you, you can see the function of the blog we have just created if you have any questions or doubts in making blogs I have another tutorial on that you can see it in my channel so I recommend you to watch this stop this tutorial right here and watch that and come back so I'm gonna go ahead and write some things there I'm gonna set the values of hours minutes and seconds based on the value we get to the this function you can get the number of seconds so far we have elapsed from this seconds variable we'll uh, pass that to this function and the block so let's set the value of h to seconds divided by 3600 that's 60 into 60 and the value of minutes to seconds mode 
three six double zero. This percentage operator is called mod operator, and before we add that, we will divide it by sixty. Okay, and the value of seconds to the seconds we get to this function. Oops, for that we're gonna mode it by sixty. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna format this string to get a better output. So we will need some operators two string we need three of them. I'm gonna add each of these H M and S those and then um, I need this join I'll add the hours first and then the minutes in, in the second box I'll add something like a colon and another two oops not two string we need the join block okay we'll join this and we'll another join block and we'll join this and lastly the this okay now we'll set the text of our text view to this string we'll use this function for that select text view and put it there okay now the primary part is our so I'm gonna go to the button once click event and I'm gonna go to the components menu and take this one set select the timer and after one second that means thousand milliseconds for every thousand milliseconds we're gonna execute the following chords the chords inside this block so I'm gonna increment the value of our time elapsed variable and call our custom block with the value from time elapsed and that's all here and then a button 2 is for stopping it so I'll just go ahead and stop, cancel the demo task and for the third one I'm gonna cancel it and also I'm gonna call the custom block with the value 0 okay now let's try that quick start you can see that the hour stopwatch is working And if you found my English weird, I'm sorry about that. And I'm gonna click stop and it stops and start again. If I click start and resets, if I click reset, and if you click start again, it starts again. And if you want, if you don't want, oops. We have to do one more thing. On button 3 is click. I'm gonna set the value of time elapsed to 0.
and then if, even if you reset the values won't come again okay that seems good and that's all for this tutorial and if you have any recommendations put it in the comments and if you like this video hit the like button and for you hit the dislike button please comment the reason below so i can improve this and if you want to see more videos like hit this hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching